Gentlemen. Hey, Norman. A bit worried about Charles. I've not seen him in a while. Gents. Morning. It seems like you're, well, dead inside. Probably because we are. I could get Duncan for you. Do some therapy. Fuck off, mate. Duncan to rubbish. Anyways, what are we up to, boys? I was just saying that Charles has been gone a while. Yeah. I wonder if he's okay. Where's Charlie? Not here. What is actually the plan? That Charles, well, we got to keep fighting and protecting this city. We keep doing our job until he's back. Nothing changes. What if he doesn't come back? Then we fight in his memory. Yeah, the boss. I've got to go speak to a friend. I'll catch you later. Well done. Good job. How do normal people spend their mornings? You'd have to ask one. Hello, Williams. Hey, what's up? Not much, just worried about your dad. Same. I'm hoping for the best, but preparing myself for the worst. That's a good way to look at it. Remember our days on the chrysalis? I miss just being able to time travel and not have a care in the world. Me too. But I think the POT shaped us. You were grieving from loss, and I was nowhere near ready for the world we were getting into. Alex and Jamie, they trained us how to assess situations. They taught me that sometimes, in order to find your purpose as a hero, you gotta take a couple steps back. Reverse the way you see the situation and see a bigger picture. Wise words, Rosie. Learn from the best. Who the hell is that? I don't know, let me check. Oh my beautiful girl. Mom? Mom. What are you doing here? Honey, I came to see you. For a visit. Didn't you get my text? M Mom, to send a text, you actually have to press send. Ah, okay. No big deal. I'll do it right now. Are you adopted? No, that's her sister, Nora. You're very handsome. No, I try. A nice English accent, too. Rosie, you're doing well. <laughs> no, I'm not Tom. Long story, which I'll let your daughter tell. I'm Dr. Harrison Davies, but you could call me Harry. I should probably let you two catch up. I'll see you later, Rosie. This is a big house. Yeah, Dad's. What? Well, it's called McClant's Mansion. You should hardly be surprised. You and I need to have a chat. <laughs> Mr. Horse. Charlie. You've been training down here for days on end. Working and pushing yourself to the limit. Why? I need to be the best. What? It's not about who's best, it's about protecting people. I've got this, Arthur. Of course, Dr. Davies. Is that Malcolm's face? Yep, yours too. The fuck? Don't act so surprised. After getting bullied so much, I took up boxing. I started at the Jarvis branch of the Fight Club. Yeah, that's right. I went to Jarvis Academy. Obviously, can't talk about. What is your problem with me anyway? Ever since I got here, you've given me nothing but crap. Why? If you're referring about people as a whole, or Henry specifically, he was kind of jealous, mate. He felt threatened. I mean, Charles is the top. No one will ever beat him, but Henry Watson has been doing this for years. And you show up. That will rank all of us in skill alone. Honestly made him question whether or not he should give up being justice. Part of the reason he's not here right now and he's on the time ship. Look, Charlie, I'm sorry. The team, myself included, have been acting like a pure nut muncher. And with Charles gone, you're the most talented, well-rounded member of this team. And now more than ever, we need to be on the same page. United. Thanks. Come on, let's go say hi to Malcolm. Awesome. Let me get this right. You're a speedster who's been working with your dad for the past two years. Pretty much. Oh, Rosie. I wanted to ask. Why did you always try and keep me away from him? He's been a great father. All right. 
Okay, I'll tell you the truth. Which is? Your father wanted to be part of your life. He wanted to be the best father to you. But he wouldn't give up the title of Saltire. So what, you told me he abandoned us? No, that was a lie. I told him he had to go because he would only bring pain to our family. But he was saving people. You need to leave. I can't do this. Do what? I can't fight with you anymore. You're going. All that you're going to do is put a target on this family and I will not have our daughter get hurt because of you. Mary. No. Mom, my whole life could have been different. It doesn't matter because Rory came along and he was fantastic with you. What is that? Something's going on. Stay here. Wow, she's... Amazing. Yeah. Ms. Williams, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry for how things ended between you and Charles. Thanks. You get why I did it, right? I do. You see, Mary, Charles had a long life. Soon, Rosie is going to notice that he doesn't really age and that he doesn't really get hurt. I believe you did the right thing when she was young, as you never know what could happen. Maybe his luck runs out on Rosie's fifth birthday. Or perhaps he is killed on ITV in front of the world. There are things I worry about daily, even now. Twenty-five years into this crusade of his. I would never have wanted that for the both of you and Rosie. Thank you. That being said, they have both given each other so much purpose and fire and their relationship is so unique and special. I feel as if you allowed Charles to stay, then she would never have become like this. Never would have become a speedster. Would never have travelled here. Charles would still be broken and Rosie would be alone. I just wanted her safe. That's all Charles wanted too. And the best place for that is by his side. Wanted? Da, well, he's not been seen for days. So, are you gonna keep quiet or are you gonna testify? I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure torturing your witness isn't gonna be great for your case. You don't think? We know how to put you in a world of hurt without leaving a mark? I really wouldn't do that. Fine. I'm gonna go. And when I come back, you better be more cooperative. Malcolm and Lumos, you can go off together on the top floor and work your way down. We can do that. Right, Charlie, you're with Norman, working from the way up, from the bottom floor. What about ye? I'm going right in the middle. Right, James, we're coming for you. Oh, thank Christ. About time you showed up. Good to see you too, mate. I'm in no condition to be swinging from rooftops. Lumos, get your ass here now. Hey, James. Kid. Get him to the roof of the building over there. Yes, sir. God, it's been a while since I've been in the field. Everything okay? Yes, everything's good, Malcolm. Really? It's fine, we didn't need him anyways. Now I have you. Norman, allow me to introduce you to a friend. So, this is seriously what you've done to yourself. <laughs> what? I've not done shit. Exactly my point. You've done nothing apart from gain some powers. But my powers are awesome. You have your tricks, I have mine. You're not the only one with gifts. Well, 
That was an anticlimactic. You talk too much. Malcolm? Oh, it is on, boys. Hey, kid. What's up? Why do you do this? Respectfully, buddy. You're a kid. You should be out there doing kid things. A long time ago, somebody told me, with great power comes great responsibility. I can help, so I help. Or at least I try to, anyway. Um, boys? Where's Rosie? There. That's, um, that's a good question. Everybody's still. I'm gonna kill you. Get in line, Harry. As deliciously evil as this is, we're not here to kill you. I just wanted to say good luck. You heroes are over. See you soon. Oh my god, Rosie! I'll call Jenna. Thank god you're here, Dr. Fitz. Rosie's normally the one doing this, but... Heart rate's normal. Reflexes and breathing are fine. She should be waking up. She's just... No, I'm gonna kill them. Chase and Search. And Carter. Someone find them now. This isn't right. We completely left her whilst we saved James. We should have split up. You should have known what was going to happen if we didn't help her. I don't want to hear it, Norman. Well, you're going to hear it. Guys, please stop it. You're not just some thug running around getting pee back. You have to hold yourself to a higher standard. You are a symbol of justice for a city that badly needs it. No, you're singing the same song. What did that get me, huh? Or Glasgow, or... America! Glasgow would be lost without justice and Soldier. Glasgow is lost! When Tom, or Dan, or John, or Stuart died, all I could do was watch. Chase is now walking around protected now. This whole superhero thing is a waste of time, but those two are not walking away from this. You're wrong. Between your grief for your friend and not getting any sleep, you're not thinking clearly. No, I am thinking clear as day. Will everybody be quiet? I want to be alone with my daughter. I apologise. James, would you like a once-over? I think I'll be okay. Thanks. As you wish. Where's the team? Piss off, Patrick. I'm not in the mood for you ghosts trying to aggravate me. Why are you moping around here instead of helping them? They don't want my help. Frankly, I don't blame them. You were risking things, weren't you? Save James, but leave Rosie out to die. Yeah. You see, every day I ask myself the same questions, Patrick. Why did I deserve to be resurrected? Why did I deserve to come here? To get a second chance? I watched all my closest friends die and I am trapped on a different earth because mine is gone and my daughter is dead. The thing is, Patrick, you're all good men. You're all good men. All of you, Davies. But me, I'm not. So, you're a selfish jerk. You think that I wasn't? That any of the Council of Davies weren't? Hell, before we met, you came here and you helped Team Blur. Hell, before you met those heroes, you were working with Zoom. And I lied. Peter kept secrets. We all came here broken men. But thanks to Team Blur and Team Saltire, eventually we learned to be better. And that's why I believe in you, Harry. There's a good man in there somewhere. You just need to dig him up some. 
let him breathe a bit? Maybe you're right. I'm always right, Harry. Look at the Irish. I'll be seeing you. Mom? Oh, sweetheart. I'm okay. Thank goodness. But you knew that. You believed in me. Every mother should have faith in their child. Is that why you have your bags? Well, I thought that seeing as you've got a family here and your father, who I am certain will return soon, you're better off here where you can help people. Thanks, Mom. Love you, baby girl. See you soon, Mom. So. So, weird day. Weird day. Hey, I wanted to say thank you. For? Just being there. You're a good friend. I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. No, you're speaking the truth. Well, I'll see you again. I hope so. I'm sure you will. Very soon. You must be Mr. Chase. I want us to form an alliance. One where we both can benefit from. I want us to be strong. United. Did it! Get in! Yes, mate! Wow, I went really British there.